People always say, when did you, I'm going to say, why did you start plumbing? <laughs> why? <laughs> why? 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 Why, why would you do it? Why wouldn't you do it? <laughs> why social media? What that, happened? That was, that was my couple of Aussie mates. What are you going to talk about already? Have you got, have you, are you making notes? Are you doing they, research they, or do they just give they you? They send through like what's going on in the shows yeah. um, and who's like what the guests are on and stuff like that. And I'm not going to lie, I'm terrible. I should be reading it and studying it and doing it, but I just get there and wing it, mate. Right, so welcome to the last guest show of the season of Off The Job. He's already started with the finger tapping. Do you know, that's the worst thing about that. You hear it through the microphone. And today we have Tom Glister! <laughs> hey! so I thought I'd get all of the finger tapping out of the way <laughs> so, so we don't annoy yeah. all the producers over there. Where's, uh, where's your mate? He's like, <laughs> <laughs> he was meant to come in. He's like, where's it? Oh, I love my, my partner in crime is Sandy Cam. He um he called me yesterday. He was like, um, uh, have you? I know why he hasn't come. Actually, have you seen what he's done to his head? Oh, what's he so done? he did some filming. You're going to stitch him up there, aren't you? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm going to make sure that we. Uh, I'll find a picture and we can add this in on the yeah, podcast. Yeah, yeah, so everyone looks at it. But he. Uh, he did some drinking, uh, did some filming, should I say. It's like, it's like, it's like, it's like, <laughs> he did some drinking, <laughs> filming, sorry. Filming in Ireland. And then um, I, just, I was chatting, ringing him, ringing him. And he said, oh, mate, I'm in a bad way. I said, what's that? He said, yeah, we, we went out. Did you see the clip of him getting in the plunge pool and all that? And yeah, yeah, I see that. Yeah, he just yeah. fell in. Didn't yeah, he? he goes, oh, he said, one thing I've learned is... <sighs> Definitely a bit of a fat bastard now. <laughs> <laughs> and he said, mate, did you see? I said, Wait, I was trying to ring you back. Why don't you ring me back? He said, oh, have you seen this? Does it like you tell you? He's got a massive cut on his head. Oh, really? I haven't <laughs> seen it yet. <laughs> oh, I can't wait. And then out, out of nowhere, you know, I know he's quite excited to come on here, but he was like, um, yeah, I don't like... I, I just sort of had a look at where it is and, um, you know, I'm struggling. I'm struggling. <laughs> I, I've got a... I've got a um, I got to, uh, what have I got? To, I got to drop my daughter somewhere yeah, at eight yeah, o'clock, yeah, yeah, so now yeah, I can't yeah. get the train down. Yeah, and oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, loads of excuses. I was like, you just smash your head up. Yeah. <laughs> just like, so you exactly. don't want to cover it. That's yeah. all right. We're all right. We got we got ourselves a guest for next <laughs> next <laughs> season. Then yeah. 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 we're good. Yeah. We're good. <laughs> That's the first one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so is he not going on fixed radio today? He is, but yeah, obviously, yeah. Um, oh, that is a good point. They do actually video record a lot of it, but they stop putting a lot of that on socials yeah. now. But I might ask the guy over there to make sure we do get a good clip. This yeah, be definitely. Yeah. 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 Was that from the plunge? Was it? No, I'd see this. Is, he hasn't elaborated on that. Yeah, I right. think it was a plunge, but a plunge outside of a bar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love plunging. I love plunging. <laughs> <laughs> so. Yeah. Um, where are we? So, how should we start this off? Like, I know what people always say, when did you, I'm going to say, why did you start plumbing? <laughs> why? <laughs> why? Why? Why, why, why would you do it? Why wouldn't you do it, Pete? <laughs> I can say a lot. You know what sounds terrible? Why. Plastering tails. <laughs> Oh yeah. Oh, <laughs> plumbing towels. Wiring plumber tails. Yeah, plumber oh. towels. Plumber towels got more of a ring. Plumber to towels. It. Yeah, it's got <laughs> more of a ring. To it, yeah. um, plumbing. Why did I start plumbing? Basically, um, my old man's a builder, so I, I wasn't knocking. I wasn't messing around with the old. Like you know, when you get to that age in school, everyone's like, oh, "What are you going to do? Yeah. What's, what's, what options have you chosen? Mm. What uh, are you going to college?" And I, I just, I was like, "Look, as soon as I can leave this crap." <laughs> I oh, know this is mandatory. I'm going to get this done, and I'm just yeah. getting on the tools so straight away. Like I just knew I I was one of those people that uh, you know me, Pete. I'm yeah. just like <laughs> imagine me in an office. Yeah. Yeah. Tapping again. Please yeah. stop tapping. Yeah. I have those people. <laughs> uh, uh, I, I had to I had to be someone that was moving around and working, and it, it just made it's just common sense in it. If your old man's in, yeah, a lot of people move into what their parents do or whatever, mm. don't they? And that was just one of them. I was just like. I, I, it made sense. I've worked with my dad, uh, you know, child labour yeah. <laughs> over the years, <laughs> uh, labouring a lot. And um, and it, it got to a point of like, I knew I wanted to get into a trade, but I didn't know what trade to get mm. into. Um, so I think when I was about 15 in the summer, he said to me, well, why don't you, why don't you go around and, you know, you can, I'm, sure the, boy, I'm yeah. sure the boys will enjoy Anne for the day or, you yeah. know, a week or so. 
And during that six weeks, I just went around. I helped out with the plastering. That shit. Enjoy that. Yeah. Went around. Uh, did all. Uh, did did I did quite like electrics. I do enjoy it. It's just a bit too easy. I mean, I just feel like there's no challenge in that. <laughs> it's a piece of piece electrics. <laughs> At least you I don't have to tie the eyes <laughs> My dad used to do it. And he was blind. <laughs> for fuck's sake, it's easy, man. <laughs> but it's not the blind Jack <laughs> we, we wear that one out. We won't do it next season. <laughs> but um, yeah, so uh, I started plumbing, and, and Ray was working. And he was he's a legend, man. He's just mm. Like old as old school as they come, he's like you know. I'm sure if you looked up old school plumber in the book, it's his face just sitting yeah, there, and yeah. it was just fun, and I enjoyed the technicality of it all, you know. Like, and he used to lash it in as well. No, <laughs> they, all, it. they all did. They all did. Yeah. Yeah. That's how it was, you know. Just like you just, just still still let me have a look. Yeah, I remember he just had mismatches of fittings, you know, like pushing yeah. fittings. It'd be yeah. that one, and he'd sort of be going, oh, pushing that one into there, and fucking god, <laughs> <laughs> all the grit, you know, all the shit in oh, the box and move it in and then my own wife's like, oh, he's fitting a shit and he's yeah. everywhere. No insert, fuck I'll be, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll just be like... Inserts? Yeah. That's a load of rubbish. That's just a money maker. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, sure, the, the, what's that? That's fine. Yeah. That? Right, um, so it was a load of... But I did enjoy it and it was... Uh, it just clicked. And obviously, look, I'm not going to mess around. It was... They earned the money, most money. Mm. <laughs> I'm going to come yeah, work yeah. with that. I might as well try and earn the most money. Yeah. So that was it. It was a, a bit of a, a perk, perk there. I'm bloody glad I've done it, and you? It's just like, the more I learn about... You know, I sort of compare to people that went to university and they've got yeah. this and they've done that mm. and all the rest of it, and they're sort of like come out of a load of debt. I didn't even know that when I chose that about yeah. all the debt that they come out with, and yeah. it's got worse. And it's over hard the years. to actually find a job coming out of uni. With anything, it, it is hard. But yeah, yeah, a lot of them waste their time. They don't even enjoy the My course. My dad said, yeah. said you are not going to sick form. No, and you are not going to. Yeah. all you're going to do is I've said you just piss about. Yeah, so. yeah. But you're either that person or you're not. Yeah, like you no. know if you're gonna go uni or yeah, if you're exactly gonna go college. And I just enjoyed, yeah, like I, I, it's little things that over the years I'm like, actually, that's quite a good aspect to the job mm. that you're always going somewhere new. Yeah, you know, you're always meeting different people, mm. and then you get into social situations where you can sort of like talk to everyone because mm, yeah. you're so used to that in your day-to-day -day life people, yeah. where other people get a little bit shy and a little bit yeah. like that and you're oh sort yeah of, it definitely and, helps out yeah it? yeah and it's that it's that aspect of it there's just little perks like that that i didn't obviously when you <laughs> well 16 you or whatever, realize, I, was like, oh, yeah. I didn't think yeah. of all that but then um now it's sort of paid off and even with like you know the development of ai and all that sort of stuff mm. you know like even plumbing still a safe job in yeah, that respect, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, do you know yeah. what I mean? They're not, oh, yeah. definitely. You're not going to get a robot coming to you too. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm going to look like old bloody musky and he's going to invent some sort of plumbing robot and I'm going to get you my words on this podcast. Well, Japan, you can get robotic toilets, I think, can't you? They yeah. like, basically wipe your ass, but they still need a plumber. Have you ever tried one, Pete? No, I haven't, no. I'm telling you, it's an experience. Have you had a go? Yeah, I've had, well, it was in Japan, because I'd like to do that, because they're, they're, they're like, they're the top dogs yeah, of, yeah. That, of that robotic thing, but um, I was on a, oh God, I sound like such a twat. I was on a skin holiday. <laughs> <laughs> it was skiing. Um and uh they and the, the hotel we were staying in had had one in there, right? right. And I'll, so I'm straight away I'm like, here we go. So a little girl from that. So I sat in, sat in and uh first of all I thought, hang on, there's a mischance here. I've got, I've got to prank my mate, right? So I knew that once you sit on the old toilet seat, it activates the sensor, doesn't it? Yeah. So it comes out. So I've gone. Ads, ads, look at this. Like that. I said, like, he's gone, what's that? I said, there's a robotic, it's a robotic thing. And I had to remote in my ad. I had my foot like that <laughs> on the toilet seat. And he's come in. I've gone, I've gone, jet wash. He's <laughs> 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 gone, <laughs> everywhere. He's <laughs> like, you bastard. <laughs> so, yeah, I sat down. And, um, mate, I'll, I'll tell you, the, the first time it touches your ring piece like that, you'll never forget. <laughs> yeah. That jet is efficient. Experience of a life, it's man, efficient. Yeah. It's just mad. I could see Andrex just crying. Like, oh, no, we've been wiped oh, out forever. I was wiped out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, here, I'm here for an hour. Yeah, I want it. I want it. I want to have a go on one of them. Mate, it is good. And like, obviously, like, further you go, you, you naturally go, whoa, 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 whoa. And then by yeah. the end, you ski oh, on the okay. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, look, it does different motions. Yeah. Did you went, when you went back home, would you like... Oh, honestly, yeah, you're sitting there going, oh, well, you're just, you're just wiping, you're going, is it clean? Manual labour. Like, yeah, yeah, like, I've got used to, like, a car wash now. <laughs> <laughs> 
find, uh, find yourself on the toilet every hour. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Todd's yeah. on the toilet yeah. again. <laughs> Just testing this one again. <laughs> you and uh, I think you went to. I think we've had this conversation before. You went to the same college as me. You went barking, didn't you? No, my so I did. I did do barking. Um, for it was some weird like weeks caught this is how much i love plumbing yeah i did a um i did like a, a little week's introductory course at barking right. so i like knew it on there but i actually went havering oh right. yeah because i had the choice of the two but my mum lives in romford so it just made more sense God, so yeah. i just went over there but barking was a much better college yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, it was a good college yeah I, when I was and my there. older brother went to barking does he do What's he do? He's, he's a plumber. Yeah, he's a plumber. Is he? I didn't yeah, know that. yeah, yeah. So, um, me and Craig, we worked together like when we when I first started out, and uh, it was that that was the only thing with me becoming a plumber. My, the, one of the main reasons, really, was uh, I said it'd be really cool if we could work together, mm. you know, in the future. Yeah, but yeah. we sort of went off our separate ways in the end because it, it was basically the guys that were teaching him. We both worked for one of the guys for like ages. We're doing yeah. all the flat bashing in New York. Oh, same as me. Yeah, yeah, doing all the flat bashing over there. And then um, basically when I got qualified, it was mm. like the classic, like he put my money up like 20 quid. And yeah. then, you know, all your mates in college are like, I'm on 130s a day yeah. and all that. And I, I'd i gone up to, I think from 40 pound a day to 60 pound a day. And then I worked out that I was paying more tax. <laughs> so <laughs> I think it worked out more like four pound extra a day or something yeah. like that. And I was just like, Nah, and you know it's graft, innit? You know oh, what it's like. You're getting in these flats before, like, when it's dark. You're coming out when it's dark. You're like, it's full central heating in the day. And um, and let's say that it's not the nicest working environment. A lot of needles and chicken yeah. bones behind and all oh, that. Oh, innit? So yeah. Yeah, you get all sorts in them flats. And uh, yeah, I just basically had enough. So that's when I decided to go out on my own. Mm. So that's when I started. Mm. So you've done your... Yeah, full apprenticeship. I done my full apprenticeship, on. and then like, yeah, basically on the back of that, um, it was my dad. He was like, "Well, like sod that, like you should start up on your own." Because he's a yeah. builder. Yeah. He was said, "I'll slip you bits and pieces, you know, that you yeah. can do." Mm -hmm. He was like, "Ray, because um, Ray sort of he moved away from the other bloke, and he was like, look, Ray will need a hand.'" So then, like, mm -hmm. sort of, although I was, you know, just off my apprenticeship and technically self-employed, I was still under Ray. Yeah. I was doing a lot for myself, mm -hmm. a lot for him. And I was sort of gaining that experience with him over the years. Yeah. Um, and then after about six, seven years of working with him, he, he retired. And that was great because I got all his customers. So that was yeah. great. Yeah, Same yeah. sort of thing happened to me. Yeah. Like, I used to, like, I worked for a company, then I didn't work for a company, then I went and worked for me mate on and off. Like when yeah. I was starting to go out on my own, he'd give me, he'd like, again, slip me a few days, my plumbing mentor, and he yeah. was a little bit like, right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? But then he went off to Italy and I got a load of his customers. Yo, hey! so, you know what I mean? So, yeah, yeah, so it was. Um, but you're yeah. saying about the money getting like extra twenty quid a day. Yeah, I think it's important to wherever you do your apprenticeship to move on because you're always treated as a boy, aren't you? It's hard oh, to all, all the time. It's, that it's hard to get out. That's, that's yeah. very true, days. Yeah, it is true. You I just think move. like. I had it when I had apprentices and stuff, and it, it you got a, I learned from that, mm -hmm. and it was like you, it, you got to respect mm -hmm. you know I, he obviously was like oh, you're you're still a boy and that but yeah. like that if he was clever enough like he would have just put my money up and mm -hmm. he was still earning a kill I know I know how much he was earning because yeah. Craig used to tell me he was earning like off them flats he was taking home like seven hundred odd pound a day yeah after paying yeah. us. If you so, don't look and the scrap on top of that. Yeah. 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 So it's probably clearing like a good grand a day. Easy. I remember we you know, was, so it's just a bit of greed, isn't it? Yeah, if you don't was, look after people, they're going to leave. No. Nah, we so. was on a bit more than that. When me and my mate, like, we used to do it together. And we used to, we, when in, we was on Kingsmead Estate and we used to yeah. bash them out. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I mean, they was going in. <laughs> We was we was turning up at seven o'clock in the morning, That's it. and I think a record one bedroom <laughs> flat was like half ten. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. just done. Well, like, it was so funny because did like, we flush it? Did we buy? Nah, <laughs> <laughs> nah it's all brand new pipe work. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. It, we used to, uh, yeah, that that was what was great about my boss. I like as I as I got older, and more experienced, you know, you sort of like take yourself back to them days. Yeah. And I just used to laugh because I really get yeah, into it. It was like, <laughs> let's see how quick we can get done today. Yeah. Let's see if we can break the record. Yeah. And I'm sitting there with my foot pounded down like. Yeah, I'm gonna make these rats up as quick as yeah. possible. Like that, I'll be in the hallway, like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it up, knocking it out, like sweating, like we're gonna do it today. Yeah. He must be sitting there going, Yeah, oh, my, yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> my governor, you had teams 
of us. Like, yeah. So I started off with him and his mate. Yeah. And like, I'll be their boy like yeah. that. And it'd be like a case of, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But then he got a number of others working for it. Yeah. So then we'd be having competitions with him. <laughs> so like, it was just the money making. <laughs> yeah, that was it. But there'd be three teams. That's he'd it, have yeah. three teams and we'd all be like, we're going to get and we're gonna these, beat them today. And these tower blocks, they put you in on the same floors yeah, as well, wouldn't they? It, yeah. And you're like, yeah, we've got to beat them today like that. And you'd, you would really get up for it. You're like, oh, I'm going to smash this today. And it was this like whole, like when you're packing your tools up and that, they'd always have like the young lad outside, like yeah. folding up the boxes mm. or like yeah. bagging a scrap up and that. You're like, oh, you're not done yet. <laughs> that's a little that's lift there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Weird yeah. little trolley. I'll, we, I'll see you tomorrow, yeah, mate. Yeah, that's <laughs> it. We'd be walk, yeah, you'd be walking past their flat like, no, still in, are you? Or, or the other thing was, because we'd have like, we'd have like, um, it'd be like a routine. Yeah. So everything would be marked up. Yeah. Everything would be made up. And yeah. drills would be drill, 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 drill. And if we could hear their drill still going after 10 o'clock, yeah. it's like, ah, yeah. fucking got no, this, mate. Even <laughs> had the rats, yeah. yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah. So yeah, that's but, good old days. But that yeah, is funny. Like you say, your, your boss is like, this a, that's a money making <laughs> right there do you reckon the best way to learn plumbing quickly is by doing flat bashing mate, like, you do it man, like, you, like, do... It's, you learn how to get pipe work efficient yeah. you know like that's like you, it is funny because it does come in today you just when you've got like sets of bends no crossover because obviously like in the flat bashing everything's surf, everything yeah. surface right so there's no like hiding it anywhere so you really have to think logically about like right i'm gonna bring this down like this way mm. and then make sure that goes that way and then you know it goes right just little things like yeah, that yeah. every day or if you're coming out of a cupboard and it does it makes you quick you do every aspect I, I tell you, my, and my you, boss he kicked off once i was just saying about a cupboard yeah <laughs> he come up once we had a shit bag of shotgun right and he's gone what the fuck is that what is that <laughs> And all the wallpaper in the fucking front room was off the wall where I'd blown it, right? <laughs> I would have couldn't help it. He went, you've drilled from a cupboard outside. <laughs> <laughs> Big blowout. He went, fucking me. <laughs> yeah. And it was just, uh, I, you think back to yourself, the, the mistakes you make as oh, a youngster, man. it's like mm. Mate, ridiculous. I remember once I used, um, we had these drawings and it, 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 it to be fair, like, it wasn't completely my fault, but I should have done mm. this a bit better. I, I I used to like using permanent marker. So I was marking the, <laughs> I was marking the rad brackets up in permanent marker, yeah. like hung the rad and that. And then the clerk of the works come around and he's like, what's what's this? And I drilled the holes through the wall whenever, like, you know, ready, like you say, mm. getting all the drilling ready yeah, so you yeah. can sling the pipe work in. And he's like, what's, what's going on here? What's this rad there? And I was like, what's on the drawing? He was like, where'd you get that drawing from? I was like, he gave it to me. Like that. He's like, no, no, no. And then he'd walk into the tenant and he'd say, Oh, the guys have accidentally like they've hung the rad out of it. Like, are you happy with that? Because they used to be able to decline if they want one oh. there and that. And they're like, no, I don't want one there. Like, that's my unit goes there and all the rest no. of it. I'm like, oh bollocks, like that. And then um, he said, oh no, that's not where my unit going. My unit goes over there. He said, no, I still don't want one there. It'd be a bit too tight. So I'm like, <laughs> oh fuck's sake. So anyway, they're like, that's all right. Just take off the take off the rads. So they have taken off the brackets. So it's all in big permanent And they were like, and he was like, oh well, he's gonna have to pay for new wallpaper oh. now. Like, oh. <laughs> so Ray, Ray's got it. Yeah, right, yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> but uh, it was like another one walking past, and um, Ian was in the gas meter cupboard. He was doing it, and next thing, as I'm walking past, like carrying the bag, I just he started soldering, but he, he forgot mm. to turn the gas off or something like that, and you'll just see this. Oh fuck! Really? Yeah, yeah, well, cupboard. It's like, oh, yeah. like Hollywood <laughs> pyrotechnics. <laughs> like, oh Jesus Christ! Sound of things you get. Uh, up oh, to. it was mental. I, yeah. mean, I was remember when I was like. My- <laughs> <laughs> My mate had a nine inch grinder and we used to cut. Oh, you were to say something else then? We, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, you get to that bit. Yeah. Anyway, he's like, he's, he's grinding he ended up, up with a four inch one. He's, yeah, <laughs> he could have, he's grinding up nine, his um, pipe work high up with a nine inch grinder on a set of steps, but he's got tracksuit bottoms on. Oh, no. Oh, Pete, I don't. Can we just exit this story? <laughs> 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 he couldn't do anything, could he? He's like, you <laughs> <laughs> demolition guys right in front of this demolition guy's face you go ah! <laughs> <laughs> you fucking wanker <laughs> but um, that's funny isn't it yeah. but, sorry, well, I did use like but the only thing I will say you say you learn but sometimes doing that work a lot <sighs> then you are sort of like you only learn that way so when you go out onto site on your own yeah. it can be hindering because all you've ever done is that yeah. Yeah, so when you come yeah. up to a one off yeah because that, that that used to be my problem. Because yeah. I was so programmed into doing these same flats yeah, yeah, every day, yeah. every day. 
when we come up with something different, yeah. I'll be like, oh, oh, I'm struggling a bit. Yeah. <laughs> so I'd call me one off Pete. Because <laughs> I you know what I mean? I was like, so you only learn the the, the plumbing, the, the business side of it yeah. when you go out on your own. Oh, absolutely, yeah. And then yeah. from other different people like 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 your Rays or Mick, in my case, like you go and work with them a day here and then, and then you get to see a more variety of oh, it. Oh, mate, well, that's that's what made me like that. I didn't take any convincing. Because obviously, like, just got qualified. I was quite scared, mm. you know. I think, oh, he's going to go, like, nuts at me if I quit. Do you know mm. what I mean? And I, like... But the as we did do, he used to do four days a week. So on the Fridays or the Saturdays, we'd go and do like a private job, just yeah. someone's house, or whatever. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I loved that. Like I loved going in. I loved like it was all the same, you know, like dust sheets down. But you yeah. know, like people that wanted you to be there, mm-hmm. and it was like nice work. Oh, you yeah. know, like you know, like it was. You know, you're dealing with like needles and like I say, chicken bones, and yeah. like you'd like some, once open this door up because I'd, I'd have to go in there like normally draw all the curtains yeah. and make it all light and exercise like some cesspit. Once I walked in and I was like instantly sick. <laughs> Instant. I went, I've never had that before. In my life, I walked in and I just bowled in there and it just, it was like dead carcass, like bad. Oh. It just went, oh, and I, I was just, I ran back out because obviously it was good. And I just went, <laughs> my, you can imagine my brother loading the tools in. I just run out the front door and was like, it was, it was like, fucking hell, what's going on? I was like, it's, that's bad. That's a bad one. That stinks. You know, you used to get good ones and bad ones. Yeah, so I'm like, yeah. that's a bad one. It turned out they, um, when the kitchen demolition people went in there, they found like three dead cats under the uh, thing. So oh, that's really? what the smell was. Oh. Yeah. And it was all like trodding cat shit all over. It was it's bad, bad mate. So, you know, you're doing that one, like Tuesday, Wednesday, yeah. and then yeah. on a Friday, you're in this lovely house out by Stansted or something, you know, yeah. like, and I'll be like, oh, this is more like it. Right. This, is, this is what I want to do. Yeah, so definitely. it was quite an easy decision for mm. me. Like, I was like, yeah, let's just get into I it. I remember walking in one one day and they're talking about smells. They just <laughs> brought it back to me, right? <laughs> <laughs> I've walked in this bedroom right, and I've gone I oh, know that smell <laughs> that's a sex smell <laughs> and the couple was still in bed right? oh. and they was allowing me to come in the room they'd obviously just done it yeah. an hour before and I'm there fucking measuring up and drilling the radiator and I'm just thinking <laughs> you know it don't you oh, yeah I was just like I had one like that we um we done a conversion. Yeah, the house was a bit of a bit of a mess, and the cylinder was in the guy's bedroom. Yeah, and it was sort of on a platform, so we drain it down, take the cylinder out, and there's all fucking Johnny's wrappers, <laughs> tissues <laughs> under, the, under the cylinder. Why? <laughs> why? 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 Why does Can't that? Why? Drum out. <laughs> It's, 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 it's rubbers, yeah, you know, yeah, in case yeah, it yeah. leaks. <laughs> <laughs> it's waterproofing. Yeah. Easy chuckling in there, guy. <laughs> yeah, it's fucking horrible. But mate, there's certainly the amount of people you'd walk in there and like it's, it's always like the suns and that. Like you'd knock at eight o'clock in the yeah. morning. God's sake, like they wouldn't mm. have it. And we used to throw dust sheets over people. You know, you'd have to get in there. <laughs> And it'd be like you get like you're getting up, and like Craig would come out, and he's like massive. Like, we had the big amateur groups, the big concrete uh, with rebar in them, pillars yeah. that you'd have to drill through, right? So that these big monster drills, blasting away like 28 mil drill for like a good half hour, mm. and he'd come out and he'd go, "Mate, that kid ain't got out of bed." He's, he said, "I've tried to dust sheet over him. He says I've been drilling next to his head. He said he didn't even get up." <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, to the point where I sort of, I didn't know didn't to put want to get him defenders down. on, you know, like for him, because it's so annoying. Like, yeah. I'll be trying to listen to Popmaster in the back, you know, in the behind yeah. it or something. Like, it's the only ease to listen to Radio 2 all day. Yeah. I'm now Radio 2, and I like fit, obviously fixed radio as well. Yeah. Um, and I would be, it, I'd sort of go listening and then he'd start drilling, and then he'd be like, oh, get the ear defenders on. And to think that someone's asleep next to that, you're like, that is, that is good work, that is Jesus Christ. <laughs> but I, I tell you, I got into trouble on some of them sites sometimes because I'd <clears throat> air my opinion to some of the... Oh, no, you can't do that, big tenants. You can't do that. I just, you know, like... I remember we started, do you know when it's on a Friday and you're like, we want to get in early, there was a void flat. Right? Yeah, yeah. And we started... We weren't drilling until gone eight because that was like the... Thing. We was just getting stuff ready. For yeah, that's anyway, it. knock on the door. What do you think you're doing? As like, we're just loading out the flat, ready to start at eight o'clock. Do you know the sound of that pipe going on the floor 
in there <laughs> is double in my flat. And I'm like, I'll leave it out. Come on. I said, we just got to get it done. But you're, she giving had me, a, you're giving me PTSD. It's like I'm back in the flat. Her, 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 her flat had been done, obviously. Yeah. And she went, well, I don't think it's on. And I just turned around. I was wound up that day forever. Yeah. And I went, oh, look. I said, you've had your flat done, didn't you? Yeah. I said, I ain't being funny. I went, you've had it all done for free. Oh, I've had this exact argument. So yeah. You've had it all done for free. We don't get it done for free. <laughs> It cost us an extra two pound a month. <laughs> <laughs> right? I was held, I was pulled in the office. Yeah, obviously yeah. you can't you can't say it obviously, but sometimes you just sort of like. But yeah, we, it we, used it did used to grate on you. you yeah, know? like I, I, without I'm not stereotyping everyone, but like no, I'd no. say I'm not gonna lie here. I'd say eighty percent, right? Mm. And that's genuine fact. I'd go in there and. They'd either like no, none of them would move anything for you. Yeah. No, no, no help whatsoever. No. Like you were complete hindrance. And bearing in mind, they're getting a new kitchen, new mm. bathroom, full central heating. Yeah. Like in the, the old the, days, they got a choice of suite as well. Yeah, all choice of, that, of color yeah. suites. Uh, it was all for free, and you. Uh, they used to give you crap for being in there. Yeah. And, uh, and you're just trying your best. You know what I mean? Imagine on £40 a day. Exactly. And, and half of them would just be sat there like gambling. I'm not yeah. like, like you'd see them on their laptops, just like like fruit roulette. Yeah. Jeremy Carl on the telly blur, blaring, oh yeah, look at this toss. And you're sitting there going, oh mate, like, what is going on? And then they'd go, um, are you not done yet? Mm. And, uh, and bear in mind, we put in like four central yeah, exactly. It's about two o'clock. You're like, are you, are you mad? Yeah. Like, is there any gratitude here? No. It, was, it was hard work. It was, yeah. 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 That, was the, that was the thing. Hello, you wonderful listeners and watchers. Just pumping the brakes on this exciting episode to let you know about Kieran's app. That's changing the game in the gas certificate world. If you're sick and tired of doing gas certificates on paper, then gas certificate app is your way forward. But it wouldn't be an app worth talking about if that's it. With no hassle, you can manage your diaries, invoices and quotes for all your jobs so you'll never be chasing paperwork again. Don't forget those boiler manuals. I can tell you how many times I've been looking at a boiler and thinking, what the... F Thankfully, the in-app boiler manuals have saved me and got me out of quite the pinch. If it's helped Pete here, then Gas Certificate app will definitely help you especially with its easy to use gas red calculator and the extremely handy ability to duplicate certs. Brilliant for when you're doing your annual services on previous jobs. So click the link down below or in the description, use the code POD30 to get 30% off yearly subscriptions. That's for all new users. That's POD30 for 30% off our yearly subscriptions for new users. Anyway, it's good stuff. to get off our chest, actually. Yeah, isn't, isn't it? it? Yeah, Ooh. no, yeah, definitely. You wanted to talk about that for years. <laughs> so then let's go on to the next why. Okay. Why social media? What that, happened? Uh, that was that was my couple of Aussie mates that I... I so I think years ago... Do you remember Snapchat? <laughs> Uh, I mean, yeah. I'm on it now just for my, my, me for and my mate, daughters. Me and my mate, we used to have a good laugh on Snapchat. We'd go like, you know, in your twenties, and you just you can just spunk money for fun, going mm. holiday all the time, mm. and all that shit. So we we'd be out having a good laugh, and and Snapchat was fun at the time. You know, the disappearing mm. story and all that was new. Yeah. Right, it wasn't on Instagram and all right. that. And we used to do that, and it was fun. It was fun. We used to have a right mm. laugh, prank each other. Remember when the filters all come out, and that was that was like groundbreaking yeah. and funny and all mm. that. And we used to do that. And, it was good, and I started picking up momentum on that. Start, you know, getting a bit of a following on there because we would piss about every day, drinking and having a laugh. Yeah, and um, essentially, and then I had a personal Instagram account, and then they got the stories, and I was sort of, I was like, oh, mm. they've just stole that from Snapchat, and I was like, do I get into that? So I started doing that. And then, obviously, a lot of people that weren't on Snapchat, they're on your Facebook friends and stuff. Then they start, then they're like, "Oh, that's funny. That's funny. That's yeah. good." You know, we yeah. it, basically, I just moved over to Instagram Stories and was yeah. doing that instead. And after a little while, my mates are over. They, they're, they're over from Australia, and um, I was doing a ga the gas had been shut off, so I was rerunning the gas pipe and stuff. And they're the ones that said to me, uh, essentially, was. Why, like, you know, you've got your, I opened up a Glister service page just as everyone does as like a mm. portfolio because I didn't have a website, you know, like, yeah. I've, done, I've done this bathroom, I've done that, and it, you, you used to be able to like show your work off, you know, like, yeah. so you, you'd get the job basically. That's exactly where it started. Mm. But I only had like, I don't know, five posts on there, six posts mm. if I could be bothered. And then I was speaking to my Aussie mates and uh, I remember Nicole, she's like, why don't you do like your stories, but for like plumbing and that? <laughs> I was mm. like, 
Who the fuck's gonna watch that? <laughs> yeah. I'm like, you're having a laugh. I was yeah. like, blimey, like, no way, I ain't doing that. And uh, she was like, no, it's bloody interesting. She's like, I've loved this. Like, and they yeah. what? They were like asking loads of questions, you know, like yeah. silly, but like popping up floorboards. Like, oh, look, like, it's all yeah, like, yeah. oh, I was, I've never seen under a floor, like weird <laughs> yeah. stuff like that, you know. And uh, they're like, yeah, this is really interesting. And I said, all right. So the next day I came in, I said, let's let's start it then. So started mm. having a laugh and that, and. Um, Straight away, I had loads of people. Like, mm. I just tagged my personal account, and loads of people were like, Oh, mate, this is brilliant. Like, love mm. this. Mm. And then um, it sort of kicked off from there. And I just started, like, like you say, I just started pissing about on there a little mm. bit, yeah. like, you know, what it's like, Pete, being myself, fucking about. Yeah, like, yeah. I remember I started following a few plumbers. I went to that uh, showroom events, which was this little event, uh, Kenny from Hud's Tire. Yeah, he spoke about it. Yeah. And, um, Tony Dumble, I think, called Heat in there, and yeah. I, I was following them. So yeah. the reason I went was to get us the beer level on discount. Yeah, yeah. Little did I know today would be like, as it is. Yeah. <laughs> because the beer level's coming out my ear. Right now. <laughs> but the, uh, I went and I was like, maybe I'll, if I go, because it's only in Wolverham Abbey, mm. which weren't far mm. from where I was working. I was working in Chinkford. And I was like, on a Friday, I was like, I'll pop down and meet, meet a few of them. And I went there, and um, they, it was really like Tony. I met um, uh, Tony and Jamie Wilde from JW Heating, mm. and uh, they're like, yeah, mate, we like, there's a big community of plumbers on here. Like, you should yeah. just get involved and stuff. And then uh, that's where it all sort of started. And mm. I just started that sort of later part of 2019 and then bloody lockdown happened. And I, mm. I think what I really re remember was when I was doing store, no one in the plumbing world mm. was like showing their face. No one. Mm. It was all yeah. like very like, like say, very work. portfolio yeah. Vibes. It was very much like this is the job we're doing. Yeah. Like no one was showing their face. And I think I come in and I was just like pissed. Like I was like just pissing about like myself. And like mm. and that that kind of blew up for me. That took off that, yeah. that style of stories. And no one had seen that before. Yeah. Um. And yeah. Then and, and we were here. <laughs> it's mad how things yeah. work. Like you said, it you was, went there for us to be low level. Now yeah. Yeah. It working. is, and it, it is, it is weird, and you know, it's 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 mad. I've never ever meant that to happen or anything. Mm. It just mm. all sort of happened naturally, and just like, yeah, it's crazy. Uh, the thing is, because I did it before and Snapchat, I'm a personal one. It wasn't. I quite enjoyed it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I it was. It wasn't new never, to you in a yeah, sense, it's, was it? It's never been. You know, some people they go, "Oh, mate, yeah, it's like I oh, work." You know, like I don't know how you do it. I don't know. How I you get do that it. all the time. Yeah, yeah, like how do you do it? And I'm like, oh, I enjoy it. For me, it's yeah. like it's part That's of my day. Big. I work on my own all day, and yeah. it was like a nice way of having a bit of community and a bit of like one thing I used to hate is like I do this magnificent job really proud of it really loved it and then i like and i used to sort of hold the customer back like till the end and that last bit like a bathroom or like a nice plant room or something mm. and then i'd be like right here we go and they'd walk in and they're like yeah nice yeah it's yeah. wicked thanks like that and i'm like no no that's a really good job <laughs> you have no idea and then when i started instagram yeah. and i put the yeah. job out then plumbers know in it they're yeah. like oh mate that's mustard yeah, yeah. that's mustard and that, i really loved that i was like oh get some appreciation from somewhere yeah so that was nice yeah i've done, I done it I, funny you mentioned that i've done it so i've done it real for that like where you like you say you're really proud of the work and that and you go <laughs> look look at this look at all your pipe blah, blah, blah. yeah uh, and he's under a kitchen cupboard and and, and they open the door and they go oh yeah <laughs> when when you're putting a door on it like, <laughs> so how do I get my soap in there <laughs> yeah like, I literally did it on Friday last week I sort of um, I, I did I, it was a lovely because it's such a tight cupboard mm. and, uh, and I, I was really happy I got all the washing machine and dishwasher hoses all through this like hole you know like the hole yeah. was like the perfect size for all the hoses all come through the plugs went round mm. and everything just like teared off it was all like symmetrical and like mm. looking good mm. and and uh, I was like, I'll send them a video just showing them what I've done and that. Yeah, yeah. And the customer, like, you know, just sort of half expecting, like, oh, that's neat. Or saying, like, I even used, like, the brass Munson rings in the cupboard yeah, and that, yeah. you know, just to pack it off and it looks nice. And they're like, no mention. Yeah, like, they were like, oh, sweet, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> that's the thing. Like, like, no, it's nice, come on. But, but, but the thing just is, like... some poly through, I'll do it. <laughs> like, the, like, the likes of Kenny and that, they do, f like... The tiling, yeah, that's what the customers love, isn't it? Yeah, they yeah. love it. Oh, yeah, they're really impressed. Don't you by hate, it. like, I hate tilers and plasters for that, right? <laughs> you know, like, you've just you, you have, right? Just like gone through, like, your first fix is all beautiful, it's all set out perfect, it's all done, and that. And then you're just like a hindrance because you've been in there quite a long time, yeah. you know, they want to just hurry up yeah. and get it all done. And then they come in, they tack it or whatever, and then the plaster comes in for like one day or like two days, yeah. Comes through, customers, mate. Oh my god, it's like they want to suck them off. Like, they're, like, <laughs> they're like, oh, this is amazing. Look at this. And the guy's like, 
yeah, yeah, it's all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that. And they're like, oh, this is incredible. You're just sitting there, just like in the corner. I go, <laughs> <laughs> They don't realise yeah. what I have to go through. Yeah. Like you turn the water off for four seconds, they ask when it's going to come back on again. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> don't you love that? Dude, that yeah. happens. You go, right, everyone all right? to go turn the water off. And they're like, yeah, yeah, no worries. And you go, so how long is that water going to be up for? <laughs> yeah. Can you just put it back on so I can fill the kettle up? Yeah, Maybe time. I'll get some buckets. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it seems like plumbers are just a pain yeah, to them, yeah, isn't it? It yeah, is, rather, yeah. yeah. Or, think... or if you're soldering this, another one, it gets the eye like twitching and that. Because yeah. like, this is just one, you know, you're doing it 17 years, you just know it's coming. You start soldering, and you're like, <sighs> fucking smoke a lot. Yeah. Off, <laughs> yeah. Like and you're just like, please don't go off. And you're just like doing it, and you're like, come on. <laughs> just like a real butler, and it just goes, and like you're like, don't you go, don't worry, it's fine, don't worry. And they come running down, they're like, oh, is that thing all right? And you're like, yeah, I'm just soldering, it's fine, it happens all the same. And you've had this conversation four billion times in your career, and then they go, well, at least we know it's worth it. Yes. Yeah, and you're like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. And like, I got job. Yeah. At least we know it works. Yeah. It's like, oh, well, you're just waiting for them to say, it's like it. anything in it. It's like you take an old radiator off, and they go, oh. <laughs> oh, it's so dirty. Oh, God, what do you must think of me? Oh, but it's behind the radio. I don't, do you know what I mean? <laughs> Silly me. Yeah, it's so like, dirty. Oh, when you pull the washing machine out. Oh, look at that. Oh, <laughs> What's Sorry. the worst thing you found behind the radiator? Nothing that real exciting, really. Like, it's always a fucking kid's toy. Always. Maybe a pair of knickers that were put on there to dry. <laughs> yeah. I don't know whether or not from sexy activity or washing activity <laughs> or condoms <laughs> condoms yeah. but nothing really what what about you you've had I, so mine's nothing funny like a sex toy or anything like that but could you believe this happened to me right i'm gonna right yeah right so i didn't know that my i'd say my surname you don't come across many glisters you know what i mean no. it's not like nothing about it. so and as you said you find crusty knickers other bits and pieces so we're taking the rad off and like obviously all the dirt and that, and there was a toothbrush behind there, right? <laughs> Classic, right? You'd sometimes you get to yeah. get random toothbrushes behind rats, right? And weirdly, it wasn't in the bathroom either. <laughs> it's in the hallway, so right. that was a bit, comp- yeah. Anyway, I looked at it, and it had glister written on the toothbrush. Glister, oh, really? <laughs> I, bet I, that, was like, I bet that freaked you out. Oh, well, I was like literally like <laughs> looking around, oh, but I was like, well, if I googled it, it's a massive toothbrush firm. <laughs> oh, was oh it? really? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, is this no a sign? Idea. Is this but a sign? That really yeah. dummy, that did. Oh, I couldn't believe that. Yeah. Oh, you yeah. Could do it was that the thing. only toothbrush I ever found that it had glister written on it. I was like, we'll take it home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it'd be all right. Yeah. <laughs> you could do an advert. Do you know that thing you do with it? What is it you do? With the, oh, glister uh, magic? Yeah, you show me a toothbrush, like your teeth. Like, that was an old Snapchat trick that, that, that come that, and come across. Glister magic was great. I mean, like, we all done it, didn't we? Yeah, we, we all it, copied it. That, we all did it. It just took off, and that made what I loved about that was just the amount of messages. Mm. People were like, how do you do that? <laughs> I'm like, you have to suck a wizard off for 10 yeah. years <laughs> <laughs> to be able to learn that skill, all right? I'm not just giving that out, that information. And, like, it was so jokes. You'd have, like, someone that would just, like, <laughs> they'd, like, tag you in the phone first one and then like obviously they just forget to do the second one or they do like different hands and, yeah. like, <laughs> or, or then like obviously you're supposed to piece the two together mm. so it's you know seamless, seamless so it's yeah. magic and they'll just be like <laughs> the, the start of their job they'll be like on their stories <laughs> no. like, where's the next bit and nothing just nothing. <laughs> and like, I'm gonna do it 10 hours later when I finished <laughs> You can just store it on your phone. I was just, oh, it's just so tall. Like, imagine you met a magician and you go, pick a cup of clay, and you're like that, and he goes, I'll see you tomorrow. Just gotta to come back and finish that one tomorrow. <laughs> It's crazy how things become a thing, though, isn't it? Yeah. Something like that you probably didn't expect it. No, to no, of... I literally, I, like I said, I, I used to do it on Snapchat for a laugh because mm. it worked well on mm. there. It'd be like, I did it like you're going on holiday, you know, mm. like cold, rainy England, and then you're like back to Thailand. And it was yeah. like, and it was like, oh, that's sick, like that. And then uh, I remember just being like, oh, yeah, I'll do that for a rad. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> did it for a radio. And I was, did the classic, like, I did this bathroom in the radio. I was like, oh, and that's the bathroom. I was like, oh, yeah, and I'm like that. And it, like, appeared. And fucking hell, everyone was like, what the fuck has just happened there? <laughs> that is unbelievable, like that. And, like, loads of people asking me, like, how I did it and stuff. It was good. We yeah. need to know because yeah. we need to get our jobs done quicker. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was like, that's how you profit, guys. I used to dream about that. Like, yeah. like, like when we was, when we was in there doing them flat bashing yeah. things, I wish I went, I wish I could just click my fingers and the boiler was done. Well, I'm still I'd trying make to learn, loads of money. I'm still trying to learn, um, obviously, what Bill 
builders know that I don't know how to do yet, but you know, like when they're just like, can you just throw some parbo around there? Mm. You know, when they dig <laughs> yeah. the hand up. <laughs> you know, and you're like, well, there's about 14 stills in there. How do you want me to get the parbo around there? And they're like, I don't know, just do the fun yeah. there. And then over there, we'll have a certain... Well, My mate, it. And it's like, no, yeah. you know, get that. And My I'm mate. like... Oh, right, yeah, I'll just get my fucking wave the hand out and yeah. do all that, shall I? Yeah. yeah. My mate done that to me the other day. Builders <clears throat> like that, didn't they? It's like, we need another hot and cold up there. And I was like, Man. but we didn't have that conversation. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, we did. And I'm like, oh. I was aiming to get you riled up on this podcast. Yeah, I think, I think I'm finding a way. And he's it. like, well, it won't take long, will it? And yeah. I think to myself, you fucking wanker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's coming. <laughs> But the thing with builders is, yeah. the thing with builders is because you're only there, you're only ever there one or two days, isn't you, on a building job? Like when you're doing first and second fixing. Possibly. Well, remember when you get there, the plaster's coming in tomorrow. Yeah, that's always another one. Mm. But they're there, like builders are there all day. Yeah, every day for like months on end. Yeah, so they ain't got to get all the fucking van out. No, I know. And that's the thing that they don't get. I don't think. And, and why is no job done on time? Like I've not done one job that's. What builders? It's always job. oh, it's got to be done tonight. Tomorrow. Well, builders, builders, there's the clack. Like once you suss it, it, took me a few years, but like it's the the panic to get you in there. Mm. Like, oh mate, like we've got to get yeah. you in there. We're struggling. We we've, we've got to close up. We've got to get all this done and that. And then all you the either time. get there, and then you're like about four weeks early. It's not ready. There's yeah. no stuff work. <laughs> there's like nothing ready. They're like they're normally demoing something. You're yeah. like what? Like I thought you was in a hurry. And then you're like I'm gonna come back, and then you come back, and then. You just get, get all your tools out, Pete. As you know, that's one of my bugbears mm. of the job, all the tools we need. I'm going to get it out. And then they're like, you're just sort of planning your roots and stuff and not doing their magic hand one. You're just trying to <laughs> yeah. actually suss it. And then they're like, so we've got Jimmy the plaster coming on Thursday. So do you reckon you get it all in? You're like, what, five bed house? Yeah. <laughs> you know, like something like that. It just drives you mad. Yeah. It's, it's madness, isn't it? It's oh, he's losing, he's losing it a little bit, Kieran. Let's I get it. Do you know they're going to charge us for the Black Wall Tunnel soon, Pete? Yeah, <laughs> 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 I ain't going for it. Fuck it. Yeah. When's the last time you drove to London? Yeah. <laughs> I was up there the other day because, like, my sat nav always takes me through the. Tries to take me through the rover rifle. Oh, as well, don't, it? don't get me started on this. <laughs> oh, come on then, let's get you going. You've done me. This <laughs> is very good. That's very good back there. Yeah. You, Les Pete. Do you like you, Les? Yeah, <laughs> fucking hate you, Les. <laughs> but yeah, no, the rover rifle time was a joke, innit? When you try and go north yeah. to south and that, and you're just like, you, you, you think you've redirected the route, mm. and you're like, well, I'm going to head towards Tower Bridge. And yeah. then it's like, you're stuck in traffic. It's like left. And you go, oh, I've got to go left here. Mm. And then you're like, Zoom out your maps. You go back through the rubber on top again. No! No! So many times. Yeah. I was like, oh, for I've got a way sake. around it now, Pete, of what I've done. Is you, you, you split your journey up into two. So I'll do point A is mm. Tower Bridge. Yeah. And then Tower that's Bridge is the thing. So that's, that's my did. way around yeah. it, just mm. to help any. I mean, it's, it's a very London that's one of top, tip That's there. one of Todd's tips. <laughs> you Todd's top tips. Todd's top, top, top Tower Bridge tips. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> but um but I remember when I when I like you, I first come I didn't do the Snapchat thing. I come from Twitter. Twitter was very different. Oh, so I, I never touched Twitter. Twitter. Yeah. I think I only use Twitter to complain to companies. Yeah. I, 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 <laughs> Such I, a toxic I, social yeah. media. I wasn't platform. on it that long, but but I come from there yeah. to, to Instagram and made that progression and I was like yeah, you was one of the first people I followed. Mm. And um I was watching you, right? And I said to my missus at the time, like, see this guy. <laughs> See this guy. <laughs> He's a fucking magician. <laughs> See this guy. Yeah. I said, I said, I said this to her, and I've said this to a few of the boys before. I said, He's going to be a presenter. I said, <laughs> Really? I, I did say that. I yeah. said, Because of the way you are in the van, you're yeah. very like, you're good on the camera, isn't yeah. you? You're good well, with engagement. I don't and, know about that. I think it's just more than give a shit. Yeah, I <laughs> know, but you, but you have got a good way about you. Uh, when you're on the camera yeah. and you're doing stuff like this, yeah, you come yeah. across very well. And I see it very early and said at the time, I said, I'll definitely see him on Fix Radio one day. Before you even announced no. it, I swear to you, I swear to you, I swear to you, I promise you I did. So Mystic when, Pete. So yeah. I did that. Fix Radio weren't even out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There's going to be a Fix Radio yeah. and he's going to yeah. present it. I'll see you at the station. <laughs> I'll see you at the Why didn't I come up with that idea? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I, I genuinely, I, I did see for see that happening that you would get onto like fixed radio at some point. Yeah. And, um, but so how did that like come about? Because that, that when that, was, that happened, that you must have thought, oh shit, mate. This do you is... know what? It was so weird. So it was. Um, <laughs> I remember like me and Andy started doing 
different like jobs for other companies mm. and that. And we met in Manchester and um, we had a proper good life. And he, he actually interviewed me for the radio, like in, in my van. I pulled up and, oh, mate, it was funny. That's when you had to do all the old COVID tests and that before you yeah. did some filming yeah. and that. And we're fucking about, like, you know, the, the thing like that. And we're both like coughing oh. and stuff. We were laughing. We were laughing. And, um, he said, "Do you want to do you want to do an interview for Fix?" And you know, I, I just thought oh, I was and and like to have these little internet shows. Yeah, yeah, I was yeah. Like, That's all right. And um, so went in my van, and he got his he got his phone recorder and started recording it. And we had a good laugh. It was a good interview. We had a right good laugh, and then we went in and did the days. And we, again, we were just like pissing ourselves laughing, like we really got on. And um, so then, obviously. That was back when he was doing that show, I think, for two, three years or something. Yeah. Uh, and it was just like a local... I'd, be, I'd been on it. Had you been on I'd, I'd been on his show. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He, okay. asked, he asked me once. No, I went on with you as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah, I? yeah, yeah. I remember interviewing you, right? And um, so he he said, yeah, like, um, do you, like Todd like rang me up one day and he was like, look, I, like, I basically f- big things are happening at Fix Radio and that. And he was like... I like just loved how we got on that day. It was one of the best interviews. Like, mm. I think we really could get on. It was like you know it, the the whole like older and younger plumber thing works mm. well. And he was like, "Would you be up for coming on uh, Fix Radio?" And uh, I said, "Oh, <laughs> I was like, well, that, like what's Wednesday? Like every week, can't they? Like that?" And he was like. Yeah, yeah, it's on it. I was like, I just don't know if I can do that, mate. I was like, that's quite a quite a big ass. I was like, where is it? And he went Vauxhall. And I went, oh, I can't all the way to Vauxhall <laughs> like that. And he was like, oh, I can't, can't. And then I said, can you not like record a load together? And he went, oh, that's a good idea. Let me let me ask him like that. He'd been going down there every week. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, can't we record a job lot? And then I said, that make it a bit more worthwhile. And he was like, yeah, get, let me get back to you. So he said, yeah, no, we'll do that. We'll we'll, we'll do a job lot. Yeah, we'll get yeah. like three or four done in a row or whatever. And um, I was like, yeah, all right, I'm in, like that. And then obviously went down there and I was, oh, man, I was crapping it. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. it's all a bit proper, in it? Yeah. Like, you've got all the studio and all the bits of paper. And I was like, I was sitting there like real imposter sitting. <laughs> like, I was like, yeah. oh, this is way different to what I thought it was going to be. You yeah. know, I was like, oh, my God. And, like, the mics are in your face. And I was like... Oh, and then and then they come out with and they said yeah like you're doing really well like and obviously I was ner- them first couple of shows like, mm. I'm ner- like I'm nervous you can hear it and uh, I'm trying to be a bit more prim and proper and then Andy was just like look listen just like relax into it you're all right like and I didn't want to you know his his show it was his show before we did it together mm. and I was almost like there with him and then he was like no look, like the idea I've got you in is like we're doing the show together you know mm. like just like come in when you need to because I was very much like. Am I allowed to talk? Like, yeah, is this is my yeah. bit, and like yeah. now, now it's like free flow. It's great. Just bounce off each and, other. Yeah, yeah. and um, you know, and then two weeks or was it? Two, no, sorry, two months after I joined, they um, yeah, they got they there was like doing a big crowd fund to go like national DAB, yeah. and then obviously now the national DAB they got like average of four. I think it's like yeah, 450,000 yeah. listeners a week and stuff. Good, so like, I do. Oh, Andy, massive thank you because he. I really like got in there at the right time, right time you know. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm really happy I didn't get in post national DAB. Do you know yeah, what I mean? It's yeah. like because you've been there from the start. Sort of been thing. there from yeah. the, like the start ish. Yeah. Like, you know, it's like like this old building. Yeah, been here from the the old days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah you're you're in, you're one of the OGs. Yeah, now. The OG, yeah I like it. The OGs. I like it. You know. <laughs> um, but yeah, did it, and I I just genuinely love it now. It's mm. like one of my favourite days. I look forward to because me and Andy like we go in and we have like we do have a good laugh. Yeah. Yeah, it's funny, you know. He's you know you, you're. Yeah, I'm sure he will be on here soon. He's just he's a good crack. He's great. He? Yeah, yeah. I'm I hope he's cut as and healed by then. Is he the dad of plumbing or granddad? Who Andy? <laughs> yeah. No, he's like the naughty auntie. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's great though, isn't he? He's, he's like that mischievous auntie that's on the yeah. dance floor with a bottle of red at uh, two a.m. But like, Andy, stop it! <laughs> he's always been a great person on social media within the plumbing community though and he mate he's what he's a proper og man he said yeah. to me this is like as i got to know him he, he was like he actually started recording with a vhs <laughs> can you believe that <laughs> like you know like i'm I, I was i had a bloody iphone and was doing snapchat and i questioned like you i should do plumbing Plumbing on social media, who on earth is going to... Mm. Not Andy Cam. Mm. He's getting VHS called up. <laughs> He's like, people are going to love this shit. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to eat this up. And he was recording with a video camera. <laughs> and I was like, mate, that is unreal. And, you know, I think he's been doing it like 15 years now on social media. Yeah. So it's like, it's un- unbelievable. But he's, yeah. but again, uh, but for all the new ones coming through, Andy was like, like... 
he just support everyone, wouldn't he, as well? Yeah, and he's he's still guy. like that today. He's yeah. the nicest guy, yeah. man. He's he's just excellent. He's a he's a proper um he's just a, a absolute treat to the industry. He's uh he's just excellent, do you know what I mean? He's yeah. always helped everyone. He's been there from the start. He's just yeah, I very I love him to bits. He's yeah, a great he's man. A great, yeah. I can see I consider him a good mate, do you know yeah, what I mean? Just yeah. like what he's he's always been on the end of the block. I mean, if I've had a bit of a shit time or whatever, he's yeah. find me out, hey doing, yeah, like, yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, he's he's, yeah. he's just good. No. Nah. You were saying about obviously social media and still enjoying it because a lot of people put pressure on themselves, didn't they? Mate, that's, so I, I, I've warned a few people about that because it becomes I, like I a job. A lot about it, you know, like because uh, I'd say I haven't been in it a long time, especially mm. when you talk like Andy, but I've been in it long enough mm. now, mm. and it's it's very hard. And this is with plumbing as well, actually. And mm. your life, mm. it's very hard. It's very easy to get all consumed by plumbing, right? And yeah. you're just yeah. working all the time. And I spent a long time just working my ass off. And do you know what done it? I actually passed out from exhaustion, hit my mm. temple on the work top. Oh, shit. Yeah, ended up in hospital. And the, the guy diagnosed me about exhaustion. He said, mm. you're exhausted. I, I told him my diet and how many days. I was working seven days a week. That's when I first started. I was yeah. 19. I think I did something like 10 and a half months non-stop every oh, day. Hell. And I passed out. And uh, I learned a quick lesson there. Like, mm. nah, what am, I, like, what am I doing? I'm literally nearly killing myself yeah. like doing this. So mm. I slowed down a bit. And it's the same with social media, right? It's you can. It's funny when I started social media, everyone was taking the piss out of it. You know, like you get your phone out on a job, and all yeah. the girls going, "What are you doing?" Yeah, mm-hmm. you know, I'm feeling about it. But like now, it's almost a staple. If you start a business, you start a social media account. Mm-hmm. You know, like I remember putting Facebook and Instagram on the back of my van, and people being like, "What are you doing?" Yeah, but like, we like you know, and it's 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 gone like that, but. It's very easy to start social media and think that's the important bit. I think, yeah. well, I've got a channel, all my... Uh, and a lot of people, if it feels like a job and it's getting you down, you know, I see people having breaks from social media that yeah. I can't... Can't do it. If you like, don't do it. Like that mm. is like, don't like. That's too much for you. Like, it's, don't announce that you're having a break either. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly that. Just, just gonna let you all know. Just I'm always have say a break. like it should. It should be always. Going along with your day to day, not taking over your day, and and watch out for that that cut yeah. that cut over point. You know, yeah. like it's, if you're um, not enjoying it, you, there's something. No, you're doing like, it too no, it's too yeah. short to be yeah. like trying to do something you hate. You know, people yeah. are like, I hate it. I'm like, don't do it. Yeah, don't do it. It's like you know, plumbers are well without social media. Yeah. You don't need to be yeah, doing exactly, it. Yeah. Just chill out, enjoy your life. You know, and if there's things, if there's toxic things on there, especially like on the socials that you don't enjoy, don't follow them anymore. Get no, rid of them. It. Don't yeah. do it. Like, don't let that affect that. You, yeah. Because the way it mate, the way it harvests people's brains, social media. Is, you know what I mean? Like, you just catch yourself like. People get caught up in Do you know that. what I mean? Like sometimes yeah. I go in there to reply to a WhatsApp or something and then I'll just catch myself being on Instagram for like yeah. five minutes. I'm like, whoa! Yeah, whoa, yeah. Whoa, fucking yeah. things like that. That's, 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 that's exactly the same to you earlier, didn't I? Yeah. I said, I just felt, yeah, I went to look at something and then all of a sudden I'm yeah. on like, uh, whoa, yeah, what am I doing? Yeah, what? I, I've got this thing set up now. So like, like I said, because it, do, it does, it gets a bit much at times. I'm not sitting mm. there going, oh, I love social media. Mm. I do it yeah. every day. It's like, um, I love my life. That's what I'm doing this for. Do you know what I mean? I'm doing this all benefits my my leisure time. That's yeah. the whole reason I'm working in social media because mm. you just you just like earn money and you mm. can do nicer things basically. And that's the long and short of it. But the I've started the way I've started managing it is because like I said, I've been doing this a long time. Is I now set up like um, almost like a screen time lock on it. Right. So I'll treat social media like my day to day job now. So like between eight and um, six p.m. I'm allowed on social media and that's just like throughout the day doing little stories yeah. and like posting my work and that. And then of an evening, uh, no, not touching it. That's like lifetime. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Because that you can just spend yourself like sit on the sofa and you've just done a load of work and then you're sitting there, <laughs> get home, looking at a load of plumbing accounts <laughs> yeah. instead of enjoying sit- your life. You're like, what am I doing? Yeah. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Yeah. I've come home to get away from work and yet I find myself watching yeah, yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So although it's got its benefits, like, you know, uh, you learn a lot through social media and you pick up tips and tricks from different people and all the rest mm. of it. And that, that's great. But you'll say the long and short, you do have to manage it quite yeah, well because I think that's a, certainly a new thing. I think it won't be long before they'll actually start teaching kids how to manage screen time yeah. and how I to think, do that. Yeah, because, definitely. Because that, you can see that. Yeah, that it's all really consuming, good, yeah, isn't yeah. it? Like everything around us is but now... But the concentration levels as well are going... Oh, mate, no one's got any patience or concentration levels. No, you, know, you can like, see it. You can just see it. 
You know, when you start, like, when when it moved over to Reels on Instagram, mm. right, instead of, like, your posts and your mm. stories and all that, and it's, like, you have to sort of learn this new technique, like, they call it, like, a hook. So, like, because people are so fickle now, and they yeah. go, no, you have to do some mad, like, naked hook, car yeah. wheel at the start. And they're like, what's that? <laughs> <laughs> I must watch the rest of this. <laughs> like that. And then you go back to hanging the radio. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like that. You have to trick them into watching. Because yeah. no yeah. one, you right, know. You're right, yeah. You've yeah. got to be strategic in some way. Yeah, you yeah. Do yeah. I'd love to know a statistic now about like, how the youngsters can actually just read a whole book without getting, like, or, like, a chapter without getting distracted. I bet, no, I bet, but, like, I bet it's, like, 90-odd percent. But, right, yeah. you're probably right. Right, yeah, they're like page four and they're like, Bing. <laughs> Let me just Google how this turns out. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? This is long. <laughs> yeah. Where's uh, the hook in this? <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> oh, it's crazy. It's a it? crazy world, isn't it? But like you say, as long as you manage it, it can be, it adds a different dynamic to your day, doesn't it? It's... Yeah, mate, exactly that. Like, I'm not like, all I'm saying is you've got to start weighing. Mm. advantages disadvantages mm. and stuff but don't let it like you know it's mm. there it's there for enjoyment but for people that start like don't enjoy it like get off it mm. <laughs> yeah no definitely. it's crazy definitely. yeah so um what do you see then what's the you got a plan for the next few years you got any plans You're building a house aren't i are you building a house yeah we're gonna be neighbors soon pete Ooh. I bumped into Pete in the pub didn't i do you remember you was picking up the roast yeah, dinner yeah, 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 that's but, it, yeah. Uh, <laughs> and uh um, george is like is that that shit comedian from TikTok? <laughs> <laughs> I don't look anything like that for last. <laughs> but um, yeah, no, it's gonna be good. That that's been an absolute ball ache, but that's that's where my mindset is at the yeah. moment. So, where'd you get a bit of land? For Bought you? some land. Yeah. Um, literally, like last. So, of this is off time record. This is Mother's the day after Mother's Day, isn't it? Right. Yeah. Um, I bought it not January, January the thirteenth last year. What's that? Twenty mm. three. Yeah. Yeah, January uh, 13th of January 2023, with planning permission, right? Mm. So I thought it'd be like a breeze. I was like, yeah. oh, this would be great. I'll have a bill by November. <laughs> <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> and then little did I know all these new regs. Well, I did know, but mm. I didn't know how many new regs come out in June 2022. And like, I started putting in building regs. And then I, I did make a mistake. I built this shed down the end of my garden, right? Because, right. uh, you know, land, and mm. it sort of tapers in at the end like that. So I built this shed at the end. Yeah, I mean, you're showing us that. Yeah, yeah, and I was like, well, that makes sense because I can put a toilet in there for the site. You know, you need somewhere to go piss. Mm. I was like, I've got, I can bring water and electricity in. There we go. Like, you've got a site hut, if you like. So I started doing that. And then, um, obviously, the council got <laughs> wing of it. Uh, the old neighbours next door, I think, gave a little phone call, mm. and uh, and they were like, "Oh, no, you broke your conditions there." They're like, "You can build a shed after you built your house, oh, for fuck but you can't build one before your house." And I was like, "But I need somewhere to go." And they're like, yeah. "Look, I understand everything you're saying makes logical sense, but you're gonna have to re-submit your plans." Right. So then we had to oh read all the plans God. Um, to put the shed in the drawings, and then it had to go out to all the neighbours and all of it. And mate, it's like. And the more like you put it in, and it's so funny. Like my my dad's like he's like he can do drawings, hand drawings, mm -hmm. right? He can't do CAD. He's too old school for that. Mm -hmm. So he does all these hand drawings, and then like from he knows his regs from like back then. But obviously, there's all these brand new regs that's yeah. come out last year. So we put them in, and they were just like <laughs> try again, <laughs> and we're like, oh right. So what's happened there? And they're like, uh, you haven't got this, 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 this in there, and you're like. Jesus Christ, so then like me, because it's self built isn't it? I'm not paying anyone to do it. I have to start researching all these new regs, speaking to different companies, getting quotes off different companies, then implicating it, and then he'd draw it all up again by hand. <laughs> and then we send it in, and then they come back, and they're like, no, nah, I can't do that. <laughs> and anyway, the long and short of it is, it's taken like over a year now, and I think as of last week, I don't think we've got any wood in it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, this is made of wood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, sorry for tapping again. And um, yeah, I think we got in, I think we've got in with planning and I think they're like finally happy with mm. everything. So yeah. fingers crossed, this is going to be the year. I can actually get it started. So oh, yeah. Brilliant. Yeah, building, a, I don't know what I'm doing, mate. It's crazy. I've got to build, build a three bed detached house and it's just mm. going to be crazy. So yeah, that's, that's my plan. Yeah, and then then I can start going back on holiday again properly. I can't miss that. <laughs> yeah, can't can't wait to see you locally. Yeah, it's gonna be good, mate. Yeah, yeah. you might move. Yeah, no. yeah he's, 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 he's gonna, gonna move. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now <bring it> <laughs> yeah. oh, that's good. Yeah, any other goals you've got? Or is it just 
concentrate do you on know that, really. what it's like i think the way things are going you know i think the thing is with goals and like you know where do you see yourself in five years yeah. like because i've had my business now like 15 years this year yeah. right and it's like when i first started out you know i said I was working mm. seven days a week yeah. and doing everything and I had this aspiration, loads of employees, and like, yeah. and I just found myself more miserable, if mm. I'm completely honest, mm. than that. And now it's, I've just got to an age now. You're sort of content. I'm just, yeah, just yeah. happy. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm just like, if I that's can just, the main thing. Isn't if it? I can just carry on doing what I'm doing, you know, mm. like I'm, I'm not, I'm not greedy. Like I just mm. want to, I just want to eat well and <laughs> go on holiday. Yeah, and yeah. I, I'm, not, I'm not aspiring to be a millionaire and yeah. all the rest of it. I just like want a nice life. And that, I just want to carry on doing that. That's my goal, really. Yeah, just to no. crack on with that and see, yeah. see what happens. Yeah. You know Whatever what I mean? you do, the main thing is just as long as you're happy, that, that's all that counts. Mate, it? genuinely, yeah. that's that's all I do it for. Yeah. It's make me and the people around me happy, you know, mm. just try and help everyone as much as possible. And, uh, yeah, just do that, really. Mm. Yeah. Let's all live in a happy world. I want the old trip to Verona, haven't I? Oh, of course. I forgot about that. <laughs> I haven't booked it yet. Have you not? Because the missus hasn't got her passport sorted yet. Can I Mate. come? Can I come? Yeah, can you come? Let yeah. me come. <laughs> yeah, can I come? <laughs> <laughs> Hurry up. <laughs> Mate, that, that was great, you know, because uh, I, I, I enjoyed that little giveaway. That was my 15-year business giveaway. Yeah. I gave a little holiday to Verona. It's, it's wicked there. It, you're going to enjoy it. Yeah. It's like, do you like that sort of stuff? Mate, or? I love it. Yeah? Man. Okay. Yeah. I can just imagine you walking around going, it's all walking, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Walking well, I don't mind. I, don't, I, don't mind. <laughs> I, I, like, I like culture. <laughs> Believe it or not, Todd, hey, I like hey, culture. I I'm, don't mind I'm it. With us I've been to, I like culture. I've been to many places around the world. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm well travelled, so yeah. No, no I, mate, it's a stunning little I, city. I'm looking forward to it's it. It's one yeah. of the. Uh, I think. Well, I don't want to give me facts wrong on a podcast, but they say it's like one of the, the OG fives. You know, there's like Rome mm. is a proper Roman city. Um, you got Verona, Milan, and I can't, uh, can't remember the other big ones. Florence. Florence, Venice. Venice, that'll do. Mm. Someone mm. can fact check that. But yeah, it's like they still got the old, the old like yeah. stuff there. It's good. Yeah, I couldn't believe it when I won that. I was like, yeah. you know, people are going to think this is fixed. It genuinely wasn't though. And it's like, I obviously when I'm doing the giveaway, yeah. I also think everyone's going to think that's fixed. But yeah, yeah. I just make it like it is honest. Like, yeah. mm. Because like people go, I'm sort me out. I'm like, no, I can't do that. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, I love, like that. So I was happy when you won it, actually. It was good. I see it, and I thought to myself, that's when I was working for ECR, and I was thinking, ah, his power tank's in the shop around the corner. <laughs> I'll do a video next to it, see what that, happens. That was, the, that was the only thing you had to do, was you had to have, like, they wanted, like, a selfie with a power tank. Yeah. And, um, yeah, then I, I basically said, there's a power tank in the merchants, which was next door to where you were yeah, working. Yeah, yeah. And you did a cracking video, man. You deserved it. It was funny. It was all right. Try me hardest, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> it off. That was a good week. That yeah. was a really good week. That, that was, was a good week. Really good week. So. <laughs> Yeah. So what, what am I getting? What are you getting? Yeah, anything in return? What's he getting? Robbie, what's he getting? We're getting a final episode on Trey. This is a final episode. Um, yeah, this is our last episode on the, the first season. Podcast. This is the final, yeah. There you go. We're, gonna, we're, we're getting some merch anyway. So yeah, yeah. I love we'll the sound colours. Everyone said they're West Ham colours. Yeah, yeah, I like everyone. it. Yeah. yeah, so this <laughs> is our final episode. Green Street with him on, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Off the job, sir. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so this is our final episode this season. Yeah, and final. our final episode in this room. In this oh, room, yeah. This has yeah. come to an end. It's the end of an era. We only set it up like like two months ago. It's a 10 week era, but, like, you know, it's still an era, isn't it? So. It is. So you're yeah. moving far away. You go, so we're based in Dartford here. We were going Devon, Cornwall, other side of London. I'd Where love are you going? to. Other Verona. side of Dartford. <laughs> <laughs> no, the other side of Dartford. So we've been in this building for six years Do I now. have to pay you, Les, to get there? No. Oh, wait to park for that. Damn it. You could park here and just Damn it. There. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, uh, we, we've been here for nearly six years now, so it's sort of time to move yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Um, Expansion. Yeah, so, yeah, it's exciting, but... We've only recently just set this up, so now we've got to do it all again. <laughs> this is frigging heavy as well, this thing. we got yeah. to cut it in, aren't yeah. we? Yeah. little LED strips on the back here and everything. No, that, that, really was his, that was his idea. We don't we never use them. Right? They're, <laughs> they're not bright enough, are they? <laughs> what, what, else, what else can we do? It just looks it? like I'm having a good time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's just... So I'm just unbuttoned down here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>
<laughs> no, they're round the back because it was too long. Yeah. That's why we stuck it there. <laughs> <laughs> no, nice, nice, nice. Yeah, I, was, nice. I was so happy when Pete finally got the ULEZ out to him because I, I had a good old moan up being in the inner part of London. Yeah. I've got no sympathy, like my customers, nothing. Got no gratitude, sympathy from anyone. Yeah. And then it moved out to the M25 and Pete's yeah. like, hey, it's fucking nice. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yes, I was, finally. I was like, I was in my, like, my, one of my customers' houses and I, I had to just drive into fucking Collier Road. Yeah. And I was like, you got to play the Ulysses. Yeah, I was that's like, it. Hey, hey. What? It's still trees. <laughs> it's still countryside around it. Was going, I sneaked into it the other day up near Brentwood. Yeah. Because yeah. I come back from Kent. Yeah. And because the M25 <laughs> was snowed up, it yeah. took me down, it took me down past, what, like a turn off on the A127, not, is it 127? Not 127. Oh, one of them goes to Basildon. Yeah, one two seven. Yeah, one two seven. Turn me on the A one two seven. We are serial. Turn me into Warley, and I must have gone in it by about a metre. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Just, but it is what it is. It is what it is. I you got, what time you got to get back to Pitcher uh, one? Yeah, I've got about... 10 minutes, 20 minutes. How you like get that. eight or eight? I'll just there. drive there now. The tubes mm. are so shit. They're like shocking, isn't they? Well, oh, they've put the central line down to emergency uh, service now. Oh, is it? Yeah, there's not enough trains. So like, you get there and it's like 25 minutes on the platform or whatever. So it mm. can fuck you up. And then, um, yeah, you go to, yeah, it's on the Victoria line. And to be honest, when you come out of fixed radio, it's like rush hour. So you get everyone at Vauxhall. <laughs> On the tube. It's a nightmare, Vox. You're packed on the tube, and then I've got to change at Oxford Circus, and then it's rush hour there as well, and you're like... I'll go up there <laughs> and I'm like, enough. I just said to him, I was like, can I expense car parking? And they were like, yep. And I was like, done. <laughs> yeah. That's it, I'm just driving up there now. No, it's easier. Because yeah. I, I, I go up to Vauxhall quite a lot to do these um, gigs and that, and yeah. and I'd always drive up there, because the train was an absolute oh, pain man. up the arse. Oh, mate, yeah, definitely. And But but what happened, <laughs> What happened, you're like this, right? So what happened was there was a little cul-de-sac where I used to park in, literally over the road. It was behind the Vauxhall Tavern. Yeah, I know. That's right where it fixes. Yeah. It's right so, near there. And, and, you t and what I did, one day I'd been parking there all the time. Yeah. Right? One day I p p pulled in, pulled into my little cul-de-sac, yeah. and I see a big C on the floor as yeah. I drove over it. I was like, <laughs> motherfuckers! <laughs> I was like, what? I'm just, everywhere! No! Right, I just had my first holiday in like two years, right? I went to Gambia, right? Mm. It was a proper experience. I loved it. Right, but went and booked this safari tour out there. So mm. he said, I'll pick you up from the hotel. Can you come to the office? Yeah. Right? And you're like, oh, here we go. So anyway, we're sat in there. He says, hello, hello. He said, uh, where are you from? Where are you from? I said, London. He went, oh, he said, I heard you have to pay to drive around there. <laughs> <laughs> Did he? I was like, we're getting mocked, mate. This is next level. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. I was like, he doesn't even have tarmac on the road. I'm oh, getting done over mad. for bloody day. Oh, it was crazy. <laughs> Yeah, we, we just get, we, it's mad, isn't it? We just bend over. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Luba! <laughs> do you want to do this challenge? What is it? So it's it's to make it's to make your flexibility a little bit better. Oh, really? Right. Yeah. So do you stand here? Right. So you have to, you have to stretch up first. Can like, you see me? Is it? Yeah, yeah. Is he in shot? Right, so you gonna keep me in the bottom? No, no, no. You're gonna do this. So you do that. So the first thing you do, you've got to touch your toes. Oh God! Right, <laughs> then spell uh, run three times. Oh no! Are you in? Are you in? <laughs> <laughs> Not yet, Pete. Carry on. I was impressed with touching my toes. Yeah, I was as well, actually. Yeah, yeah I look like that kind of flexible yeah. kind of car. Because you always did the press ups before this, the warm up. I know, yeah. <laughs> I was going right to the floor. <laughs> right to the floor. Yeah, I was impressed, mate. Uh, yeah. Um, oh, Jewel, when you go on there, have you got like, do you know what. Um, what you're going to talk about already? Have you got? Have you? Are you making notes? Are you doing they, research, they, or do they just give they you? They send through like what's going on in the shows, yeah, um, and who's like what the guests are on and stuff like that. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm terrible. I should be reading it and studying it and doing it, but I just get there and wing it, mate. It's mm. bad. You That's what I done today. Yeah. <laughs> all I wrote, look, is why the hell? Why did you start? That's it. That's <laughs> all we've got. That is it. Uh, I just get there, and you know when me and Andy. Were but um, they said, boys, we're going to put you up for an award, right? And I'm sitting there, I was thinking it's going to be some like Mickey Mouse, like mm. radio awards, you know, mm. like, 
up against hospital radio, I don't know, something like that. And I was just like, oh, all right, yeah, yeah, cool. Like, sweet, like that. And then um, they come back and they're like, you've been Aria nominated. And I was like, cool, yeah, sweet, like, <laughs> wicked, like that. And then, uh, and then looked into it, Googled it, and it's like, the first thing on the website is the Radio Oscars. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, really? Oh, and you start seeing all the categories you're in with is like BBC Radio 2, Radio 1 and all that. And I was right, sitting yeah. there with Happy going, how the fucking hell is this happening? <laughs> yeah. I was like, we literally wing it. Yeah. We have no idea what's going on yes. half the time. It, uh, it, uh, it was a proper shock, you know, when that come into play. Yeah. We got Best New Show. Like, yeah. Well, nominated for Best New Show. We didn't get Best New Show. <laughs> yeah, but, but to be up there to be with nominated. the big dogs and yeah. stuff was, was huge. Um, but yeah, we yeah it comes through and I've started to get a bit better. Like they've... Um, They've increased my pay now, so oh. I've given more time. Nice, because <laughs> I used to be just like I'll just go there and wing it, but like now, sort of have the day off. I got there, like we'll go up a bit earlier, so we'll probably start recording like two after two. So I'm gonna get there for one and like mm. probably go through the notes and try and make yeah. it a little bit, bit bit better. Yeah, so me and Andy can flow a bit more and mm. all the rest of it. But mm. how often do you go there? Not every week now. I say every three weeks. Okay. Yeah, and we get like three, yeah, three shows done every three weeks. Yeah, sort yeah, of nice. things. That works out because Andy's coming down from Sheffield, hence why he's yeah. on here today. Mm. Yeah, he's yeah. got a long way to come. No, he has, yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, he's, uh, it's otherwise, it's, uh, he was doing it, I think, like every Friday. He's getting mm. a train down to London. I was yeah. like, oh, God, mate, you've got to change that. Mm, that's mad, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So, it is good. It's a good laugh. I do, I'll probably enjoy it now. Good experience. It's, yeah, isn't it? it yeah. really It's just so different. Do you know what yeah. I mean? I've been, like I said, I've been plumbing like 17, 18 years mm. now. So, it's just mm. nice change in it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Do something slightly different. Yeah, makes a change. I'm sure, yeah. as sure as this does to you. Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. yeah. Well, this is all new. I mean, I, like you, this is a highlight of my week coming here. Really. Yeah, when yeah. Do, when you do something different off the tools and whatever, it's just different. It's my low light spending time up here. <laughs> <laughs> do you no, know what I enjoyed I it is yeah. when you said, uh, you went, I just didn't realise how many times I said, yeah. No, I and I went through that exact thing. I never listened to the own, my own show on Fixed Radio. Yeah. I just couldn't do it. It's like, mm. ugh. And um, one day the podcast came out and Andy sent me the link to the podcast. He said, oh, this is a good show today. So I'd like, I was on the tube and I thought, well, I'll give it a listen. And mm. I downloaded it, got on the tube on the way out there. And um, I literally the same thing. Like, if you're talking, I'm going, yeah. Yeah, because you're like engaged. You're like, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 But on the radio, I'm like, stop talking! Stop <laughs> saying yeah! yeah. But, uh, so now I've learned in fixed radio to like nod. I like nod when, when he's chatting and that. I'm like, yeah. Oh, yes, I mean, the first, <laughs> that was the first. No, what's what's that I'm film? like nodding like that. What's that Jim Carrey film when he can't say the. Uh, oh, Liar Liar. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This <laughs> pen. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> he draws all over himself. The first show that was, and still the second. You realise, I fuck it. I watch myself. Fuck it. I don't mind saying it. Right? Just <laughs> analyse it. You do that as a, com as, as a comedian. You have to watch yourself. <laughs> well, right? but I want to know how you performed. Do you know what I mean? So, like the first show was that. Yeah. And I was just. Fucking hell, Mate, It's so brave what you do. I, I'd hate it, do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. it, it takes the next level it does, pair of yeah, violence, yeah. doesn't it? Oh, yeah, I was talking about the um the, the first show of this. When oh, I, when we was <laughs> interviewing, sorry, I thought you were in stand-up. No, when we was interviewing Ollie. Yeah. Like, that, yeah, 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 yeah. And I just could hear it and I was thinking, <laughs> 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 But, um, yeah, the kid, the, the, yeah. the, the, the stand-up <laughs> thing, yeah. <laughs> It's good, mate. It's good. So where in Vauxhall is it? Is it's it the tavern? It, no, not the tavern. Um, it's at the actual um, Big Belly Laughs. It was called the Vauxhall Comedy Club. It's now Vox, uh, Big Belly Laughs. Okay. But that's a gong show. So, oh. like, you get, like, that, the audience are brutal, so they can... Oh, gong. so they can literally gong you off? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> like, the, like the Britain's Got Talent buzzer? Yeah. <laughs> it's like, Next level. It's <laughs> like you'll get, like, a minute grace... <laughs> Like where you've got a minute to sell yourself. Yeah, yeah. And the hook, the hook, mate. the hook. It's the hook. You can't the get hook. in there. <laughs> Go naked. You should yeah. just cartwheel naked. <laughs> Come on. And um, so I've done. I've done that a few times up there. I've got through a couple of times, but I've not won it. And I don't do it enough to be honest with you. But the worst one was the comedy store in London. Yeah. Oh mate. You don't get five minutes on there. You don't get any. 
any time whatsoever. You don't get it's it is that you might look a bit odd and they'll go, Fuck off. Like Really? Got, yeah, it's it's that brutal. <laughs> like like comedy store Tinder. Yeah. You just get a swipe right or whatever. <laughs> Off he goes. I can't even remember if I've told this before. Have I told this story before? But it's nevertheless it I went up there and I sort of changed my set at the last minute and I went up <laughs> but they didn't they let me stay right for about a minute and a half. I should have gone a lot earlier because yeah. my it, I just like a rabbit in the headlights and I was fucked. Yeah. Did you know it was going to be like that before you went there? What? How many people? How were? bad it was? Like, no, yeah, I'd heard. I'd heard. So that makes it even worse. I'd heard. It? And I <laughs> and I went off. I got. I just went off and they went. And that was Pete Withers with no jokes. No. <laughs> <laughs> i never forget. Did I ever tell... Did I say this already? Uh, no, oh, I don't think no. no, Robbie's nodding. I did, didn't I? I said it on another... Oh, fuck it. I'll do it again. Oh, you would, well, your first season is already running out of content. We, were, <laughs> we, we repeat ourselves. <laughs> You'll hear the same joke Tune a lot. Tune season two, guys. That's yeah. <laughs> what comedians do. <laughs> <laughs> Same shit. I've done the blind stuff now. I'm doing the old fucking comedy stuff. But you got to get, you got to start writing more jokes. I know, time, mate, I, I don't. That's my worst thing. I don't write whatsoever. <laughs> the thing is, though, what I do is normally, Mark, because I was having a conversation with somebody the other day about this. Book's empty. Writing, yeah, yeah it's empty. Because my writing is is the Instagram. Yeah. So if I come up with an idea, yeah. I'll, I'll pen an idea off of that. Off of an idea that might have worked off Instagram and yeah. then try and bring it to stage. No. Nah. I'll never really write. Isn't nah. your photo on Instagram with a book though? Yeah. <laughs> Don't I write. just said a little red book. Yeah, that's, yeah. It. that's it. That's it, isn't it? A little I'll red book. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Nothing at all. Oh, I did enjoy your set at uh, Installer, even though I wasn't there. I watched it back because I felt gutted because um, that bloody company that didn't give you the boiler. <laughs> we oh. went out, I went out for dinner with them and and then I found out you did like a bit and you chatted about me in the set and I was I was properly guided. I missed that. It was yeah. really good. But I watched it, but that was good, mate. I enjoyed that. You, uh, are you coming to install this yes. year? Yes. I'm not missing it this year. I got so much shit last year for not going. I went Glastonbury last yeah. year instead yeah. and I got so much shit for it. So I'm definitely there this time. Definitely there this year. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that would be a good laugh. We're looking forward to that. Yeah. I'm forward to install Yeah. Are you doing another set? Are you going for it? It's sort of become like a, a thing now. A thing now. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Where Great. I don't know if anyone else is going to do it because last year we had two others do it with us. Oh, right. So we had Dave White. Yeah. And we had Steve Taylor. Yeah. Uh, do it with us. Which David was... do it again, wasn't it? Uh, I hope so. <laughs> yeah. I What's the say about Steve? <laughs> he doesn't <laughs> no, Steve, no, <laughs> Steve done well. It. Steve done well. I don't know if Steve would do it. Steve's really busy, like, with. Um, like his business at the moment, he's going crazy, crazy of business. I'm yeah. gonna speak to him actually. <laughs> um, but it was more of a show than the first year because the first year all the emphasis was on me because I was the only one doing. Yeah, it. yeah. But this year was it seemed more of like a a show yeah. sort of thing. Yeah, but, um, decent. I think they need more seats now though. Oh really? Trying to cram people. Yeah, I like mean it was busy hard. enough that yeah, first yeah. year. I bet it's it's like banged out there now because yeah. they made it like the official. Yeah, you uh, you whereas said, we all just went there yeah, after yeah. that first year. We just yeah. went there, didn't we, for a piss yeah. up yeah. afterwards? Now it's become like a proper thing, isn't it? Yeah. Like, so no, it's a good little thing point he's put together. There. It's done well there, yeah. mate. It is good and getting all the the manufacturers to sponsor yeah. it. Yeah, some drinks parties decent. Yeah, definitely. It's, it, it's a cracking it, birthday it? party for himself, isn't it? Yeah, he wrangled that one, didn't he? Yeah, it's my birthday. No, he's he's plumber. Social, mate. Yeah, yeah, you, know, yeah, yeah. you know, it's my birthday. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's great. He's pointy and he's done, yeah. he's done well with it. So, no, it's good. Yeah, hopefully, they'll, we'll have a few more years mm. of it, innit? Yeah, decent. Yeah. But, um, anyway, we'll wrap it up then. Yeah. By saying thanks to Todd. It's been a pleasure coming on, Todd. Yeah, yeah thank, thank, you. Thank, you. thank you for having me on the finale of the OG Room. Yeah. No problem. I enjoyed no problem. that. No, no, I enjoyed it. That's been, been a pleasure. Good. Well done for sorting all that. It's good, isn't it? It's yeah. coming on. Yeah, cheers, mate. Right. Yeah, appreciate you coming. We'll see ya on the other side of Dartford. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, this has been another episode of Off The Job Podcast. Thanks for watching the show on YouTube or listening on Spotify, Amazon Music, Apple Podcasts and all other streaming platforms. If it's your first time watching or not, make sure to subscribe below and follow us on all the big social media stuff like Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. For our overtime show on Monday, send us in your stories and comments for it to be read out on the show. Send it in via email, direct message through our social media accounts or WhatsApp us on 07457 406259. 
and we'll see you on the next episode.